Tapos masakit masakit pa yung chan ko kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit nang ano nangyari sa akin do sa dun sa tubig na ininom ko sa Pilipinas. And uh, ngayon naman medyo okay na kaya nga lang utot ako ng utot. Hanan na! Ibabalik ko na lang sa'yo para hindi na ako bibili. Hello! Thank you for the card. Hello! Halika na yun ang kakibigan ko. Hello! Welcome back to my vlog. Hanan na! So now it's um... Beautiful day, it's and we are heading to um, Tel Aviv. So, kahapon nga, like, like what I've said, uh, kahapon, dumating ako ng um, 11 o'clock na. And, uh, diretso lang, ang laban. And I am with Candice. Say hi, Candice. And say hi, Mau. So, mali pa lang aming gate. So, boarding na kami. Pero, so, I'm coming back to um, Israel uh, but this time with a friend say hi Candice hi say hi Mau so medyo um, isang oras pa lang ang tulog ko kasi nga eh napaka late ko na nakalabas ng airport kagabi galing Pilipinas tapos masakit masakit pa yung chan ko kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit nang ano nangyari sa akin do sa yung sa tubig na ininom ko sa Pilipinas and uh, ngayon naman medyo okay na kaya nga lang utot ako ng utot that's so bad so now um, papunta na kami sa gate dahil boarding na and I'll see you later once nasa Tel Aviv na kami bye Finally boarded, and we are just waiting for our our remote boarding. So, ayun. So, medyo na hilo ko kasi uh, may isang hours pa yung tulog ko. Kasi ang dami ko pang pinulfill na mga ano. Right after yung dumating ako galing Pilipinas kagabi, I have to color my hair. I have to recheck my bag kung ano pa yung kulang. Tapos, eh, nagdagdag ako ng konti, nagbawas. And then... I tried to sleep for one, like two hours pero nakatulog ako ng isang oras but we made it so far I mean this far so maya maya lang siguro after three and a half hours nasa Tel Aviv na ulit kami and uh, party starts there ngayong araw na ito diretso na so I hope um, makapag rest kami ng konti dahil mamayang gabi eh, may mga itinerary na kami na kailangan namin i-fulfill that's it Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much to our fly to buy cabin food. Because we're in a stop to get the cabin food. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Dubai to Tel Aviv uh, crew, flight crew of uh, Fly Dubai for our meal.
arrived here in Tel Aviv, Israel. And this dude, guys, I'm so excited. Excited? Yes. So what are you expecting? Um, very cold weather. <laughs> it's not cold. <laughs> March, uh, January, uh, February, March, Google Miami. So we have to put out this going out. I'm going to Jesus Christ. Thank you. These are my colleagues with good service. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a safe uh, flight back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Now arrive here in Tel Aviv. Second time. That yeah, feels like me uh, first time pa rin. Uh, ano bang masasabi ko? So I'm pretty much excited kasi this time around is bago ang gagawin namin experience. Uh, mayroon pa sa kami kasama na first time here which is um, the intention is to do a pilgrimage while Ah, uh, kami naman eh, pilgrimage one slash slash. So definitely this time, um, uh, titira lang ako sa Tel Aviv. Uh, dun lang kami mag-stay. Crash from Tel Aviv. Dun lang kami mag-start na room around. So, I'll see you once we cross the immigrations. And... Quick reminder lang, upon arrival sa airport ng Tel Aviv or sa Israel, Ang kailangan mo lang gawin ay scan your passport before the immigration officer's cubicles at ito ay magja-generate ng electronic gate pass which serve as your visa and hindi na kailangan i-stamp sa iyong passport. So, ito na nga. Right after we landed, we headed straight to Old Japa Port para makatch naman namin yung walking tour. However, hindi namin sila makita. So, kami na lang yung nagpunta. So, ano ba yung Old Japa Port? Ito yung isang port na beautiful part ng Tel Aviv. Ang Japa Port is well known sa oldest port in the world. And notably, believed to be the same location as biblical story of Jonah and the whale. This is a long fascinating history attached to this site continuous with strategic port in the eastern Mediterranean. Continued until only recently when the new ports were built in South Tel Aviv, in Ashdod and North in Haifa. To say today, the Dapo Port is used largely by local fishermen to who continue the centuries-old traditions at the area. So, ang Japa Port is smaller than the Port of Haifa and Aiko. Japa Port has still remained the iconic landmark and cultural attraction drawing tourists from all over the world. So, nag-ikot-ikot lang kami sa mga laboy niya and we were amazed pa rin kahit second time ko na sa architectural nito.